Corning Inc. is the world leader in specialty glass and ceramics. Corning was founded in 1851 in Somerville, Massachusetts as Bay State Glass Company by Amory Houghton. Today, Corning is the global leader in glass display technologies, environmental technologies, fiber optics, medical devices, and specialty materials. With a revenue of $6.6 .6 billion and a net income of $1.8 billion, one of the highest rates of scientific productivity globally in terms of patents granted for millions of R&D dollars spent. In 1908, Corning set up the first R&D laboratory in the U.S. They invented Pyrex in 1912, fiberglass in 1938, and tube bulbs in 1947. They were the first pioneers in fiber optics in the early 1970s. In 2000, however, Corning experienced a crisis. The company's heavy investment and acquisitions in fiber optics backfired during the dot-com bust. With global fiber overcapacity, Corning incurred a $7 billion loss and its stock pl plummeted from $113 to $1. The current CEO, Roger G. Ackerman, was fired and James R. Houghton, a member of the founding family, was called back for a second time. As a leader, Houghton demonstrated the ability to make tough choices by exiting the precision lens business and phototonics. He refocused the resources of the company and R&D on display technologies and telecommunications. He made tough choices of keeping and promoting the executive team that was responsible for the mess to speed up the turnaround. He cut the headcount from 20,000 to 10,000. Houghton renewed the traditional culture of collaboration and the collective commitment. Under his leadership, Corning continued to invest more than 10% of its revenue in R&D. Most of this spend was allocated to the final stages of the pipeline. Further, Houghton reinforced the five-step process of innovation by establishing simple rules to improve the innovation process. Corning created a structure of fast-track promise, promising innovations at an executive level. These cross-functional teams included the Strategic Growth Organization, Corp Corporate Technical Council, and the Growth and Executive Council. Corning centralized its R&D to improve re resource fluidity, which reinforced collective commitment. He introduced the Black Belt Master within the organization that facilitated innovation. Lastly, Corning formed a strategic partnership such as with Sharp and Samsung. They enhanced the company's sensitivity to market opportunities. Houghton brought the Corning's traditional values such as valuing the individual and diversity, collaboration, cross-functional teams, and talent management. The company established the Creating an Inclusive Culture initiative that fostered openness, feedback, recognition, and constructive conflict. Corning's sustained investment in glass and a strategy of active waiting led to the exploitation of the Gorilla Glass Innovation 4. Ultra-thin, scratch-proof, durable glass for touchscreen handles, TVs, PCs, LCDs. Today, they've sold more than 1 billion devices, over 33 brands. Here's a short video by Corning that shows the future potential application of this technology. Thanks to Corning's strategic portfolio and operational agility, Houghton and his team were able to turn the company around and return to profitability. Unlike other companies, Corning was able to demonstrate agility through active waiting, portfolio optimization, and innovation. But achieving agility also requires a multi-dimensional approach including strong leadership, an inclusive and collaborative culture, which Corning also succeeded in achieving.